Let's talk about the one concept that tricks everyone up, all right? And it's vitiligo versus albinism. So let's see what a melanocyte looks like. This is a dendritic cell. Look at its little fingers, right? Look at that little melanin granule. So it's moving around, right? So issues with melanin and your skin are being produced could be from defect in transport, defect in release, but mainly with albinism, it's from a decrease in tyrosinase activity. That's point number one that you must know, albinism, okay? Now you need to know how to juxtapose albinism from vitiligo, super high yield. So vitiligo is autoimmune destruction of the melanocyte or the melanosome, okay? So what does that mean? All that means is there will be a decreased number of melanocytes with vitiligo, whereas in albinism, there will be a normal number. Both of them will have abnormal low melanin production, but what you need to know is that there will be a decreased number of melanocytes with vitiligo. All right, that's the biggest high yield fact of the day. Remember, this is what a melanocyte looks like, dendritic cell. Make sure you remember, integrate this into your life. So antigen presenting cells, dendritic cells, B cells, macrophages. All right, that was at least three points there for about a minute and 10 seconds. Thank you for your time. Now have a great Sunday. Peace.